Windchill Service Information Manager, along with PTC's Arbor Text Editor, provides a connected authoring experience for a technical writer. Within Windchill Service Information Manager, let's navigate to our product information structure. An information structure within Windchill Sim is really an encyclopedia of all things service related about your product. In this case here, we're looking at a snowmobile product. We can organize and create an information structure in a way in which it is product and configuration specific. We also have the ability to create groups of information representing our product systems and subsystems. As an author, I have the ability within the information structure to create and insert documentation on the fly. I can also define and use templates or XML DTDs as my starting point. These templates and DTDs can contain pertinent information about a concept, a procedure, a topic, and other uh, reusable components. Defining a name and selecting OK will allow us to create the XML documentation and then begin the authoring process. Here you can see that we've created a brand new XML installation procedure. Through the use of Arbor Text Editor connected to Windchill Service Information Manager, I can select on the Open in Arbor Text Editor option and launch that document directly within the application. It's going to go ahead and load the default starting template for this topic procedure. Before I can begin working on any XML documentation, I need to take ownership of it. So we have the ability to check out the information to eliminate or prevent anybody else in the system from working on the same document at the same time. As I begin authoring within XML, you will notice that we have a variety of different types of tags that we are supporting and inserting within the documentation. These tags are very important because they provide standardization and authoring consistency across the board for the entire authoring team. Following the rules of this particular topic and the tagging within the topic doesn't allow an author to insert content in the incorrect position within a document as they're authoring. Let's go ahead and create an ordered list. After I've inserted some text, maybe I want to reach out to the Windchill Service Information Manager environment and find an illustration. Arbor Text Editor allows you to insert a variety of different types of illustrations, whether they are uh, on a local desktop, a file server, uh, or even the Windchill Sim environment. Let's go ahead and insert an illustration. In this case here, we're inserting a 3D interactive illustration that was created with Creo Illustrate. An illustrator created this based off of the CAD model and created a variety of different types of graphics in this file. As an author, I can define attribute information about the illustration and any one of the paragraphs or tags in the document. I also have the ability to dynamically flip in between the different graphics and illustrations that the illustrator created. Let's go ahead and continue creating our documents. We're going to go ahead and add the second step in the installation procedure. Again, once we've added our text, I can reuse that same illustration and insert another version of it within the document. Again, it is a 3D illustration. It is interactive and dynamic and an author can come in and select and choose which actual graphic they want to use in the document. Because we're leveraging off of Creo Illustrate, connected to Windchill Service Information Manager, and authoring content in a connected authoring environment, as any illustration changes that might take place to these graphics within the SIM environment, we have the ability to propagate those downstream into our XML to ensure that our documentation is always accurate and up to date.
To finalize our document, we're going to go ahead and also uh, reuse some information from another existing document within Windshield Sim. An author has the ability to take content that might be reused in one document or many documents and insert them into their XML as standardized pieces of information or standard blocks of text. In this case here, we're going to be creating a note and this note is going to reference a torque specification from a torque table. I have the ability to quickly and easily define the note, define attribute information about the note, and populate the note with some text. To actually pull in and insert standard blocks or standardized textual information, as an author I have the ability to search my Windshield Service Information Manager environment. I can simply type in a keyword, maybe a name, or other various attribute information to quickly and easily find information. Here you can see we're going to be referencing a master torque table. In this torque table, I have a variety of different types of specifications defined. I can easily search that torque table for a certain specification, grab the appropriate textual information, and insert it. Here you can see we've quickly inserted that from the torque table. Once our document is complete, we can go ahead and turn our tags off and take a look at the overall XML documentation. In this documentation, we created some notes, we've referenced standard information from a torque table, and we've also inserted and embedded illustrations from Creo Illustrate and Windchill Service Information Manager in our XML. Once the document has been completed, let's go ahead and check it in and save it to Windchill Service Information Manager. As an author, I can add comments to appropriately identify what has been completed or what has been done in this documentation. As we're checking the document into Windchill Service Information Manager, we are going through a process of what we call bursting. Bursting is an ability in which we can set up and define specific types of tags in our XML and consider those reusable components. I can then take these reusable components and insert or reuse them across the board in a variety of documents. So this increases overall productivity of an author having to only author in one location or author one time and reuse in many locations. Looking at this document in Service Information Manager, you can see it has physical structure due to the bursting aspect. And as we check the document in, Windchill Service Information Manager, along with our Arbortex Publishing Engine, is going through a background publishing process. We'll be using Creo View, logging in with our credentials to see the published content. In this case here, we've published out a PDF. When looking at this PDF, we've used, along with the publishing engine, a default out-of-the-box style sheet. Style sheets are very configurable. They can be defined to meet all of your formatting needs. And that style sheet is used at the time of publishing the XML to control the overall look and feel of the document. Now that the XML document is stored off within Windshield Service Information Manager, we have the ability to subject the XML to full version and configuration control, associative updating capabilities, whether a CAD model or illustration has been changed or updated, along with formal business workflows supporting formal review and change processes. 